In my last video, I was so impressed with the Zoop W 450 watt solar suitcase that I reached out to them and asked if I could do a review of their 200 watt. That's what we're going to do today. Let's get this out and check it out. The design of the case is very similar. It's sort of a rubbery, uh, like a rubber coated uh, vinyl or something. I'm not sure what. Very durable. Take two uh, panels out there, and uh, you got a pouch here. It comes with a uh, jumper cable to be able to charge a battery. It even comes with a little uh, PWM charge controller, and of course your instructions, and a little whole slew of adapters. It also comes with this adapter cable that you can connect the MC4 connectors that are on the solar panel to various different uh, adapters for various different power stations and stuff like that. So we've got an Anderson power pole, a 5521, an XT60, and a 7909. All right, so let's get this out of the box here, or out of the bag. We'll toss this off to the side. Got these little uh, leatherette straps, you pop those off, and then, uh, voila. Now it's got the four metal legs in the back here. Now you pop these uh, metal rods out here, and tilt it back, and you're all set up. Get this rock out of the front of the deal here. Got a little hump going on. We got our MC4 connectors over here on this end. We'll hook that up to our adapter cable, get this hooked to our power station, and uh, we'll see what it puts out. All right, we got this panel hooked up to our Ellajoy solar panel tester. We're currently pulling 180.7 watts. And the VMP is 16.58 volts, 10.9 amps. The uh, voltage open circuit is 21.85. You are going to want to make sure that this is compatible with your power station. It's running another round of testing here, 177. Now, oops, I've got a little shade on the panel. Is why. Let me do that again. Under 79. So around 180, and it is high noon in northern Arizona in uh, early May, late April. All right, let's get this hooked up to our Opus Exodus 600 and see how long it takes to charge this up. We got the battery completely drained, and we're going to uh, charge it all the way up and see how long that takes. All right, we'll get our MC4 connectors hooked up here to our adapter cable and get this plugged in to our little Opus. Put that in there out of the shade. Or in the shade. And this is a 7909. Is it? Hey, sorry for the interruption. But if you're enjoying this video, why not give me a quick thumbs up? It really helps me out. It helps push this video to other people to help them find my channel. We do practical, everyday use solar project videos, how-to videos, and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you don't miss a thing. Now let's get back to the video. All right, we're at 1% here. We're going to charge this all the way up. It's now exactly 1245. We're going to come back in an hour and we're going to see how long it took to charge this up. Are we getting between 170 and 175 watts? All right, it's 2.15 now. We're at 97%, and we're still getting 157 watts. This will be done here in the next few minutes. Okay, so another thing that this Zoop W 200-watt panel comes with that the 450-watt did not come with is this little uh, PWM solar charge controller. We're going to go ahead and hook this up to the panel and go ahead and charge 
our battery here with it. So it came with this cable here with uh, some jumper cables. And uh, the other end has a standard, uh, I forget what they call this, uh, automotive plug or whatever. It's been around forever. So we'll go ahead and get this hooked up. And then we'll hook connect to our Bluetooth and see what we're getting. It is a little later in the day now, though, so I'm not sure how well it's going to do. So we'll hook our uh, charge controller up to our MC4 from here, coming off the panel. And then the other end here is our cable to our battery. And you should see this light up. I'm not sure we're going to be able to see that in the, in the glare here. Now, I need to change this. I have it on AGM. To change the mode, you press and hold this uh, set mode button on the side here until it flashes. Wait till it gets to where you want, and then just let it go. And then it, when it turns solid, it's the, the setting has changed. All right, we'll pull this up on my app here on my tablet. We got our watt cycle battery. And we are charging at uh, 76.44 watts. And like I said, it, it's uh, 319 in the afternoon. So this is not peak solar time. All I wanted to really do was demonstrate how you hook this up. If this was peak time like it was earlier, we'd be getting the same wattage directly into a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So that's pretty cool accessory that it comes with, uh, especially with the jumper cable wires and the um, PWM charge controller. So that's a little something extra. All right, that's it for the Zoop W 200 watt portable suitcase solar panel. Uh, I am really, really liking this brand. Uh, the 450 watt panel performed really well. This 200 watt panel performed really well. Uh, you just want to make sure that your uh, voltage open circuit and your short circuit current are compatible with your solar panel. I have a little secret project coming up soon that's going to help you figure that out for a power station that you either already own or are considering. And uh, I'll be announcing that in the future to how you can go about figuring that out really easily. If you want to see the video on the 450 watt solar panel, go ahead and watch this video right here. And if you want to see the video on the Opez 600 that we used in this video, check that out right here. That's it for this video.